Right, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the purpose of this video is it's only going to be a small one, like not like my hour and a half IC video. Um, I just wanted to show off two quick mods that I've added. Now these mods are the dynamo and power converter, or energy converter, that's it. Um, and I'll show you more about them in a second. So my main purpose, I started from scratch on this map. Yes, that is a quarry going strong, but I'll explain that in a minute. Um, I started from scratch on this map and just decided that the best place to be would be a nice little island. Because, forgive the cheating, I decided I didn't want to build on the surface anymore. Now this island was a tiny bare scrap of land, and I did absolutely cover it with trees and rubber trees and everything. And as you can see, I farmed it for seeds and whatnot, just because I didn't want to run out of resources and have to trip to the mainland constantly. Although I've had... have have had to go there to batter a few sheep occasionally. Right, I've got the obvious uh, solar power there that I've used on most of my designs. That Those ones there are just enough to run my machines quite happily and I've got enough storage that I don't need to worry about that. And then that's the machines out of my mind. Everything else I've done, I've done there. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah. This is the story, anyway. Uh, don't mind me. This is, this is just a little base I've made. A little way to the nether. I've switched it off because it's noisy and annoying. I should probably do the same to this fire. I've got the uh, Better Than Wolves cauldron so I can make lights, which I haven't done in here. I've got the um, Red Power furnace so I can make red alloy wire, which is damn useful. I've got two storage boxes here, the usual uh, line of machines there and mass macerators, lots of macerators. I've also got an underground uh, farm for food and I've got automatic um, hemp farming. Now the hemp farm I want to show off actually before I show the other mods because it is 100% benefited, benefiting from the red power mod. If it wasn't for the red power mod I could do exactly the same but I'd have to build like 30 repeaters diodes, whatever you want to call them, and this way is a lot better. I switched that on, and after a 30 second timer, these things go off. I'm not sure how long it's been yet. But there's also there's a little timer mod, a little timer uh, block that you can make with the red power mod, and you can set it to any time you like. Yes, quite a lot are lost here, but trust me, the amount I've got let me show you. I have all of them automatically converted into rope. I've got so many I can never use them. <coughs> but, um, yeah, sorry. I've got a little timer, and because there's... Uh, if the pistons instantly trigger and go instantly back again, you lose a lot more of your items directly below on the side. So I set another trigger up, a buffer item, um, once I can get up here, which actually delays it. Once it's triggered, it will hold for a couple of seconds before it pushes back again, if that makes sense. That way the pistons are actually triggered for a while. I've got the usual lights, light blocks here above it on a separate circuit. And yes, I know if I could be bothered to go and farm a load of wool, I'll be able to separate these and connect them over the top of the other wires and not have them interfere, but it's easier just to build, build bridges of stone at the moment. I love redstone because the distance the power can go is, what, 16 times normal? It's great. This little timer switch, as you can see, you can set it to absolutely anything you want. But anyway, this isn't about red power, <laughs> but it is a brilliant mod. Yeah, all the wiring underbelly there. So yeah, that goes down there into build craft pipes, comes out here where I've got a little water wheel running if I need it to saw. If I don't need it, I've got all of these things milling these water going into here into an automatic crafting table which turns them into rope. Now the only reason I've done that, I'm, I'm not certain I will always need rope, it's just storage. If you get like a couple of these stacks there'll be an equivalent of masses of string and you'll never be able to store them all. Oh and I've got the seeds going somewhere else. So yeah that's um, that's the only reason i got that running. Now onto the important stuff. Um, what we have, <coughs> what I added recently actually I've had it for a couple of weeks now, is a nice little dynamo mod. What that does is it turns mechanical energy from better than wolves, and that's these water wheels, that's windmills, that's anything like that, into electric power. Now the dynamo itself... I'm gonna link all of these in my shortcut, in my um, info bar anyway, once I can find a damn thing. I've got so many mods in here, I've lost them now. 
but it's crafted using components from IC and components from Better Than Wolves. And where is it? It's a stripy looking thing. I'll show you them in a minute anyway. Okay, let's ignore that. Yes, and I'll show you my generator room. Now, one thing I did originally, I've got a lovely picture on the Dynamo thread on the forums, which I'll also link if you want, that um, has an entire wall of these water wheels. And off of each side of them, I put a... Um, I don't have any of them here. Instead of a box there, I put a dynamo directly there. So each one of these water wheels was producing two lots of electric current. Now each each uh, dynamo, it has to be said, is two EU's output, so it's better than a solar plant on either side, which are about one EU. Now I had a whole wall of these water wheels, and it suddenly occurred to me the other day that that's entirely wasteful, because for each wa each side, you can push off one of these gearboxes, and these gearboxes have five mechanical sides that output mechanical signals. So I could use five times, well, four times as many dynamos and still increase the uh, length of it, which is what I've done here. Which is quite nice. I've lined them all up first, and I've done it along one gearbox, outputs to four different dynamos, and then continues to two squares, because that's the closest you can have them, and outputs to another four dynamos, and does that in a, all along the line. Now I've used tin cabling down here, because... Um, tin cables, um, they have up to 40 yards, uh, 40 meters, sorry, before they start losing one EU of signal. And the output here is ample for that. So that uh, it's difficult to explain the way the power actually works in this. It runs in pulses. If we, um, I used to think that the cables used a set current, like if these were all producing. If there's five of these producing two EUs each, then I thought there'd be a constant flow of ten EUs through here, which would mean you wouldn't be able to use this cable because it can only handle three EUs. But turns out they only go in pulses, so this produces two from here straight to the end, and this produces two from here straight to the end, which means there's only ever two going through here. So it'll be like one packet of data, another packet of data kind of thing. Um, so yeah, you're able to use these cables, which have a very low energy loss, and could go for miles, and they're brilliant for all kinds of generators. Some people say they're going to be nerfed in the next patch, some people say they aren't. I bloody hope they're not, because they're fantastic for connecting up everything. And low material cost, because it's only just free tin. So as you can see, I've got a shed load of generators here. Let me just show you how much power comes in, how fast it comes in. There you go. It's going thousands a second. That's if it's not connected up to anything else. And this is just one small room of machines. I have plans to extend it to multiple times this. I originally did um, a four-star there and a four-star down the other side and then realised I could fit another one underneath and connect them up to the same connectors and another one on top. So I could also, at some point, do one above there that could have two branches and one down here that could do two branches on both sides and multiply up the power even more. But of course it takes a lot of materials, because these, each one of these dynamos contain a generator and a gearbox, and some cogs and some wires, so they're quite expensive to make compared to normal generators, but yet again it's safe constant power, which is one thing I absolutely love. So yeah, that's the dynamo mod, that is a little crossover mod that was absolutely brilliant when it came out, and I thought, fantastic, you can actually have generators that look sensible now, and are actually doing some work which is great, so I'm using water power. Obviously, in reality, you wouldn't be able to use this little amount of torque to produce that much power, but it's, it's a lot more realistic than just, I don't know, the other generators. Let's turn this off, because this will get noisy. But, um, obviously, the next thing on your mind is, yes, this is great, I'm using Better Than Wolves for IC energy, but what do I use IC energy for? Once you've built all the cool armor and things, you kind of run out of stuff to do with IC. So um, the next thing you wanted to do was convert it to Buildcraft. Now Buildcraft I've always had problems with lately because no matter what kind of flows I set up with engines and such, refineries, all of that, I will few, I'll send so much water to the to the, um, what do you call them, combustion engines and it will 
makes so little difference that even though it looks like it's full and constantly filling, I will go away and five minutes later there'll be an explosion. So I used to keep to redstone engines, even though you'd need hundreds and hundreds of redstone engines to equate to a couple of combustions. I actually started my base near a mega oil deposit that I found on my map just because I thought I'd eventually be using it, but um, turns out I'm not. Oh, in case people want to see how much, just how much oil you get in these mega deposits. Actually, this will probably end up drowning me. Let's not do that. Uh, one second. Ah, there we go. I found a way to turn off water damage. I'll tell you what, it's always raining on these maps. Hmm. So yeah, um, I should be able to go down here now without dying. This is the standard mine shaft for it. Not mine shaft, you know what I mean. And this is the amount of space. It's a bit dark, isn't it? It's the amount of space you get out of oil, and they us do usually go into certain caves. So let me try and get some light here. That's a bit better, isn't it? Oops, still flying a bit fast. So yeah, for a mega oil deposit, this goes all the way down to the base and flows out quite a bit in different directions. So you're never going to use up this much oil unless you're quarrying the entire world. But, as I want to demonstrate now, even these wonderful oil deposits are superfluous. Thanks to another little mod, which is the energy converter, which only which I only found a few days ago, thanks to some links for some other people. But it allows you to pump IC current into a converter, which you can't really see very well here, but it's another block with output and input, into buildcraft pipes, which go into any buildcraft machine like this quarry and power it nicely which is brilliant so you can finally use solar generators and all those other generators to actually power all the buildcraft machines what's that going on over there um, there's three different levels of this item there's a level one which inputs a maximum of 32 well accepts a maximum of 32 EUs and outputs the same amount to the machines which will run this slow. This is the medium one, 128 current maximum in and out. And as you can see, it runs this pretty nicely. I haven't even dared to see what the 512 one does, the maximum one, because at the moment I'm a bit short on diamonds. As you can see, it's very, very, uh, it's very quick. It's a lot quicker than, say, 200 redstone engines. I'm not sure the equivalent in, in. Uh, other engines because I don't use them. But this is a nice steady beam anyway and even with the speed boost on these items you can see it's a nice steady um, stream of them there which is great. Oh, I really should get rid of that water it's going to cause problems but yes yeah, so that's all I basically wanted to show off I don't know if I have the converters on here actually because they look pretty similar to other ones so it'll be hard to see. Those are transformers but yeah, there's three different, like I said, three different levels of converter. So I will try and build a maximum one later on. I do use equivalent exchange still, which people may complain about, because it's not, I don't know, it's making something out of not nothing, but making anything you want out of anything you don't want, basically, which is kind of unfair. But... um it does have a few uses. The amount of stone and everything. Oh yeah, you can see I really enjoy the new uh, smooth stone blocks. I've built them everywhere. Much to people's annoyance. Right, yeah, I do just stick it here for gem of eternal density, just to convert all this stuff as it comes in. It, some people see it as cheating, I don't. I find it very useful. I suppose it isn't fair in the end, because you don't spend all your time digging around, but... I haven't had much luck with diamonds on this one, so I decided in the end to make it. So yeah, this is my underground base. If anyone has any other suggestions on what to build here, I'm all ears. I've kind of run out of ideas now. Everything seems to be on one floor. Oh well, um, thanks for watching.